In this video series, we're going to talk about how to get your website onto the first page of the Google search results. Now there's definite steps to take in order to achieve this. If you do these steps right, you will always end up on page one of Google. The steps are pretty simple. First, you need to do your research. The research we're going to do is keyword research. Now if you get this step wrong, then the whole thing isn't going to work. So you need to pay attention to the keyword research which we're going to do in this video. The other things we need to talk about are on-site optimization and off-site optimization. These are important parts as well. If you don't do these right, you also are not going to achieve the results. But when you put these three together and you do every step right, you're bound to end up on page one of the Google search results. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at now is keyword research. In order to do this keyword research, you're going to have to be using the Firefox browser. So if you haven't installed the Firefox browser, you need to do that. So it's easy enough to find, just type in Mozilla Firefox in Google, and then do a search. Okay, and then here it is. Now, I usually use a plugin called SEO Quake. However, it is not working at the moment and it may have something to do with the new versions of Firefox that are out. So rather than use that one, I've switched to one called SEO Book. And you can find that at seobook.com. Now roll down and you'll see the SEO toolbar. Click on that and then we want to download that. Okay. And they're going to email it to you. So what you want to do is put in your email address and pick a username because they create an account for you. Just do that and then click claim your SEO tools. Now, after you got your email, you'll be able to log in to the free members area. Now, just go back to the SEO book homepage and you'll see this. And then over on the left here, you want SEO for Firefox. I want to download that. Up here, you may get a box asking you if they're allowed to install it. Just click Allow. And then click Install Now. And it's going to want you to restart Firefox. Just go ahead and do that. Okay, now what you need to do is go to Tools. And then you'll see SEO for Firefox. I'm going to go over to Options. A box like this is going to pop up. Make sure that we have it enabled, and it should come like that as standard. And then we want to go down and we want to set some of these things to automatic. We want automatic page rank, automatic traffic value, automatic age, and roll down some more. And we want to find the Yahoo stuff. Okay, we want Yahoo links automatic, Yahoo education links automatic and then our page links to automatic as well. At that point click OK. Now you may be wondering what that does. And it's going to become obvious when we start doing our actual research. Now the next thing of course we're going to need to know is the topic that we're targeting and you should already have that in mind. So in our case we're going to create a website on mobile marketing. Now let's go to Google and let's do a search on our main keyword, which is mobile marketing. Now, you may notice that we have some extra parameters underneath all the search results. And this is what our plugin has done for us. It gives us an easy way to analyze the sites that are already on this page. However, before we can use this, we need to actually use the Google Keyword Tool to find out some of our other keywords. So I wanted to preview this first to show you the extra information that we're going to get with this plugin. So the next thing we need to do is go to the Google External Keyword Tool. Okay, now what we want to do is put in our main keyword in here, so mobile marketing.
Okay, that's all we need right now. Down here, we're going to put in the capture code and then we're going to click search. All right, so now we have our results up for mobile marketing. And you'll notice over on the left side, we have the match types broad, exact, or phrase. Well, what we want is exact match. So uncheck broad and checked exact. This gives us the exact key phrase. In other words, somebody has typed in only those two words in their search. So this gives us a much better idea of the number of searches that are going on for each of the keyword suggestions that are coming up here. Now you'll notice that we have our competition here and it tells us the competition in AdWords which is your paid advertising service for the particular key phrase. It also shows us the global monthly searches and the local monthly searches. Now depending on whether or not